it's still very much less than Jake, but I just, I feel like, uh, it's kind of like we had like a steroid shot. Just feels just feels bigger, you know. The guitars sound big, the the vocals sound great, and you know, I people ask me, uh, you know, how could you describe the new record? And I tell them, and I mean this with all sincerity, and and, and not to be a, a clown or joking around, but if you if you love less than Jake, you're gonna love the record. If you didn't like us before, it's not gonna change your mind. Silver Liners was recorded last year. <laughs> we recorded the record in November of 2019. So we've been sitting on the record for, for about a year now. And we kept wanting to uh, put it out. We had some stalled release dates uh, because of uh, what transpired in uh, 2020. And here we are, it's finally getting a <clears throat> release date at the end of the year. We started doing, you know, sending around demos to each other probably in early January, February of 2019. And of course we were on the road. Uh, touring so we'd be we'd go on the road and, and you know we we kind of talk about the songs uh, back of the bus type type thing and d discuss what, what we had and then we'd get back home and work on them a little bit more um, first rehearsal we had um, it was just uh, our new drummer uh, Matt Yonker Matt Roger and I uh, rehearsed in I think it was June or July of 2019 continued writing through, throughout the year. Uh, again, we were still on the road uh, a lot doing Euro tours. And then we did one final uh, uh, US tour with uh, Bowling for Soup. And that was in uh, October of last year. And then we ended the uh, tour at the Fest November 1st in Gainesville. Since we are already in Gainesville, that's when we started recording the record in terms of the lockdown. This record was already done, already mixed, mastered, and ready to go. We had a a release date of I believe we were shooting for late April and then it got pushed to June <laughs> then it went to August September October and finally we told uh, told pure noise we said we got to get this thing out so we we, uh, we decided on December we've never done more than uh, than three months as a band without being on the road you know we'll come home for hell in the early days it was come home for two days pet the dog throwing a, a load of laundry and you're back in the van again um, but uh, I think the longest we ever went was maybe three or four months. Um, we we just never stopped. We kept we kept uh, road dogging it, as they say. You know, just keep tour after tour after tour. So and this has been the longest in terms of live performance that we haven't been on a stage to play. The first couple shows will probably be uh, we'll probably throw our backs and necks out going so crazy, and then we won't be able to play for three or four weeks because of our age. Um, that'd be my only fear. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's just going to be. I think the initial shows when people are allowed to go back. Uh, I think they're gonna be explosive. I think everyone's kind of in the same boat. They all wanna wanna have a, a great show. And as far as anything else, you know, we're already uh, kind of looking forward to, to the next record because we've been, been sitting on this one for, for so long, but we still have to promote this one. So uh, the single's fun to play, Lie to Me. I wanna play a song called Keep On Chasing. And uh, there's another one called Dear Me I'm looking forward to playing. We haven't been in a room together to rehearse them yet. So I gotta see if I can even remember how to play them. <laughs> No, the Zoom call culture didn't influence it. It only looks like it because we had no choice but to record it in separate areas. So everyone kind of filmed their own their own pieces. So that's why it kind of looks uh, looks like it does. There was really no other way to to do it. You know, we none of us live in the same place anymore. So we're all kind of spread around the country. So only only two guys are are still living in Gainesville, but uh, we'll always be a Gainesville band. Though. We had a video director. There was someone that put the video together. Uh, she had worked with Newfound Glory before. She just actually just worked with Dolly Parton on Dolly's new video. Um, I know, crazy, but she's a she's from Nashville and she was super sweet. But um, you know, as far as videos though, it's so much different now. There was there was so much more excitement. Uh, and this isn't to take anything away from her or the video, but um, you know, the smartphones and everything at your disposal has changed the game. It used to be when you have a new video, it was like. Wow, that was all that was coming out this week was a couple bands' videos, and and uh, you'd put a bunch of time into it. It was this visual, and it sold records. And now it's just kind of it's just another promotional tool. And not to take again take anything away from it, but uh, we're just as humans, we're hit with so much information every day. We're, I'm just stoked that anybody even saw the video. We had the same lineup for oh, about 18 years. JR got in the band. He was the last new member, our sax player. He got in the band in 2000. Then he stepped down in August of 2018. 
So it's been about about two and a half years now. So anytime you have a, a member change, it's it's gonna uh, gonna affect things. He was one fifth of the band. Uh, him and I started the band. Um, so it's been it's been a transition, uh, and certainly he wasn't just the drummer, but he did uh, a lot of the creative uh, side with the band and the lyrics. So it was a it was a, it was an adjustment. But uh, you know, two and a half years removed now, we're we're excited. We the band's still still rolling forward. We want to get back out there and, and play and, uh, and and do our thing. The thing about Vinny, you know, I I, I knew him since I was fifteen. So a lot of times over the years, people are always like, how do you sing someone else's lyrics? I don't understand that. People that write their own lyrics and, and stuff. And that was just the way that, that our dynamic was. He'd hand me a scrap of paper when I was 15 years old and we'd be jamming in his parents' bedroom and these songs would start to happen. So it's all that I ever knew. Um, at the same time, um, you know, there'd be times when he wrote a complete idea of lyrics and handed it to you. Other times it'd be just like, random phrases on papers that, that I would put together. And then of course, when Raj got in the band, we would put together and we would add phrases and add things. And um, so we've always written lyrics. Um, our lyrics, my lyrics are, are, are way different than Vinny's. I don't have his way of storytelling, um, but certainly we, uh, and, and Raj and I always wrote the, the melodies, the chords and the, and the vocal melodies. That was always us. So that part of it hasn't changed in the songwriting department. That's still going to all sound like us. Uh, and lyrically, I, I, I think we made a, a lyrically uh, sound less than Jake record. Um, certainly, um, there's a component that, that's missing. Um, but, uh, you know, all you can do is write from the heart. And, and I think we did. And you just uh, hope that the fans that like your band are still going to still going to like it for that reason. Matt comes from a rock background so it's opened up some stylistically on the drums it's opened up some different things we can do i mean matt comes from he played in punk rock bands he's certainly a punk rock drummer but he you know grew up listening to, to rock Vinny was always just a, a punk rock drummer um that was his influences and that's that's what he liked um so yeah we've you know i think anytime in a band when you lose something if you pick the right person you can gain something and uh Matt's also been with us for going on 20 years. He started selling t-shirts and he was our guitar tech. He was our sound guy. He was our day-to-day -day person. He was our tour manager. He's kind of wore every hat. Um, so he's been around. So for him to step in, it wasn't like we had to audition 30 drummers and uh, I can't stand this guy. Oh, geez. You know, it was, it was just natural. And Vinny said, you know, I, uh, I don't want to tour anymore. Two weeks later, we had a, a show. Uh, in Seattle, Tacoma, with Bad Religion. It was us, Bad Religion, Interrupters, and like five other bands, and it was 10,000 people. And Matt didn't rehearse with us. We threw him on stage in front of 10,000 people at an amphitheater, and he killed, he absolutely killed it. Um, and then the next day we did the same show with Bad Religion, we went to uh, Boise, Idaho. And it, so his first two shows were in front of like 10,000 people, uh, unrehearsed. But he'd been around for so long, he knew the songs and uh, he stepped in seamlessly. So I, I feel like that we have gained something really, really cool. Facing the dilemma of going back on the road <laughs> because I've uh, been wanting to start projects for so long. Um, and for one reason or another, it, it's difficult to, to truly start a project when you're leaving again in two weeks. And it's hard to work from the road, you know? I'm, I'm here in my home studio right now. I have everything at my disposal and I'm able to work. So um, I kind of took the lemons and made lemonade this year. I've uh, been doing a ton of, of side projects and uh, I'm anxious to get back on the road because that's what I do. I want to uh, provide for the, the crew of the band that, that needs a job. I want to give back to the venues and everybody out there. I want the guys in my band and myself to, to be able to have our livelihood and keep the band going. Um, but, uh, you know, I've, I've done real well this year. It can, all things considered, I know a lot of people have had a rough time and have been very depressed. Um, and I, I hurt for those people. I've talked to a lot of friends, um, but I've, I've ran the complete opposite way. I uh, decided to, to try my best to harness this time into something positive. And so uh, the, my apprehensiveness is, how am I going to do all this on the road? And I'm gonna, I'll, I'll figure it out. <laughs>